Hello friends, welcome to Ayurpreneur Academy, your own YouTube channel for entrepreneurship of Ayurveda. So Ayurpreneur Academy, the Ayurveda School of Entrepreneurship is meant for empowering all the Ayurveda professionals to achieve the entrepreneurship in Ayurveda. I am Dr. Vegas Mohan Kuroli, the founder of Ayurpreneur Academy and Ayurpreneur Lifestyle Hub. And I am on a mission to help 100,000 Ayurveda professionals to achieve and live entrepreneur lifestyle to accomplish social significance, professional significance, financial abundance, time freedom to uh, to uh, by using Ayurpreneur Lifestyle Hub and the systems called as Ayurpreneur Business Model, Ayurpreneur Business Master and Ayurpreneur Business Empire. In this video, we will be looking into what is a minimum viable product which is usually commonly used in the business sector or in the entrepreneurial journey. So in this session, in this particular video, we will be dealing with what exactly the MEP we mean by, what are the uh, success, uh, core elements of the MEP, then what are the objective of MEP, then preparation, then crafting the MEP testing it and then analyzing the things and adopting the same thing too for our next call of action or the next whatever the uh, progress of your entrepreneur journey is there. So what even a minimum viable product? The minimum viable product is the product which is intermediary product. There is an idea or there is a product or a service which nobody wants. It is not acceptable or it is not with that the value or it is not useful but <clears throat> that has got a potential which can be made into a maximum viable product. So to test that, you will be having an intermediary, what you call the product or the service, which will having the core values of the, the particular the uh, concept or the idea and that will be tested. So coming to the what exactly we mean by the uh, MEP is, here MEP is the the most what you call the rudimentary it is in a rudimentary form okay it is in the rudimentary, rudimentary form and it's a very basic core what you call the idea of a particular product or service which you, you want to launch and the viable is it is sufficient enough for early what you call the adaptations okay early adaptations so looking at here if you come to this picture here you can see here sufficient enough for early adaptation that is viability and the product should be tangible enough so that the people can experience it so this is what the basic what you need to know about the MEP that is it's a rudimentary even though it is rudimentary it has got some core principles core what you call the uh, uh, strengths and based on that you can create a maximally viable product and it has got some tangibility to experience it and understand what the what exactly uh, the um, how it is going to solve the problem so understanding the MEP okay so here basically again the MEP as we told we are discussing about now it is a low quality product there is a low quality product or a service and that has either don't work or it nobody wants to have it but it is it has got the potential to be the bigger viable product that is well which can be made into well product by uh, the bigger companies by funding okay and affording so in between that if it is how it has got the potential to scale up and become a maximum for uh, maximal viable product and if you try it's a primary version okay what 1.0 version of 1.1.0 then it is called as a minimum viable product so that you will not be exhausting your resources and the confidence so you you will try you will check it out to your basically the objective that is to you need to have the a minimum viable product or services so that you can test it in the market you can test it in the market okay so <clears throat> when it comes to the market testing in the market testing in the market you need to understand these three things that is if it comes to the medicine, if you want to try a medicine, which is whether it is it is going to be viable product or not, then you can. We are usually in Ayurvedic medicine, so we are going for a pilot study of the medicine, clinical trial of the medicine in a pilot in a pilot study. Okay, so a, a small scale study will be adopted for a clinical trial, where it will be uh, understanding whether that product will become effective or not, and it become viable or not. In the same way, other products which can be in the smaller scale. And the services like online coaching can also be one of the your uh, entrepreneurial, uh, what you call the uh, startup. So there, 
for example i have created the minimal viable product for my iPreneur business model before launching the iPreneur business model i started with a minimum viable product that is iPreneur success blueprint and iPreneur device goal setting formula which will which have given me some idea about how the the uh, or ayurveda doctors or ayurveda students or ayurveda professionals they think and how they receive it when it comes to their career guidance so for that reason i started i, I created that minimum viable product so here so minimum viable product when you are creating it should have the particular basic what we are having the core values or the core idea should be there a core principle should be there for example you cannot how not to build a minimum viable product is only with the wheel you cannot think about building this four wheeler so we need not we should not start like that the mep should have the all the basic core values of the main product or the maximal viable product it should ha have that embedded all those core values which uh, which are in the main final product they should be embedded in the what you call that minimum viable product then only it becomes a minimum viable product like here this has got four wheeler four, four wheels are there in this at the end and even it has got certain engine as well as the body and because of that it, this can be made into a maximal viable product here in the totally uh, all to call the uh, <coughs> fully loaded car whereas here from only one wheel you cannot imagine or you cannot build a maximum viable what to call the product because all whatever the core values or core concept or core what to call the uh, components are here they are not here in this wheel so because of that this the idea cannot or the minimum viable product cannot be built without the all the inherent qualities or the product or the what you call the values or the components of a final product in that particular what is the minimum viable product okay so that is how you need to look into how exactly the uh, what uh, our uh, our minimum viable product should be built so minimum viable product you understood that it is it is having the all the core potentials in it but it is in a very minimal scale which can be made into a maximum viable product so elements what are the elements of the minimum viable products that is it has got the idea it has got the hypothesis it has got the the what you call the planning it has got the project it has got the team it has got the what you call the uh, building the product and then sending it to the market and then testing it all those things are there in the minimum viable product so you need to know the basic elements of the minimum viable product what you are launching for so for example when you are launching you should be able to know what exactly you want to solve what the problem you want to solve what you want to give what you want to offer okay whether it is a, a wellness a unique wellness product what you want to give to your patients or it is any specialized uh, medical service ayurvedic service or with whether it is combination of both so you need to finalize it before start, starting with an uh, what you call the building or uh, creating crafting your mep so whether it is a product you are offering whether it is a service you are going to offer or both combination of both you want to offer so and who is the ideal customer you, you need to identify your target customers without the identified target customers you cannot craft your mep and what values does the customer will get and what is the problem they will be solved of so that if you are able to answer these questions if you have got very much clarity about this question then you can go ahead with creating your own mvp that is minimum viable product for your the final product of your the entrepreneurship so objectives when it coming to the objectives of the uh, mvp why mvp should be created so the concept the minimum of the minimum viable product or the objective of the minimum viable product is with the minimum effort with minimum time okay but all the core features are there as i was telling all the core features are there but uh, with those core features with the minimal effort and minimal time you will be able will be able to quickly get into the market and uh, you can get the feedbacks by and the data about the or the well, the viability of your product and based on that uh, maximum validated learning you can have the directions and guidance to come with an, a best version of your that minimum viable product into a maximum viable product so that is the main objective of the uh, what to call our mvp that is minimum viable product then preparation so how you need to do the preparation so preparation should be it should not be 
directly without any research without any feedback without any what you call testing it in the smaller market smaller segment you should not get into the bigger market or you should not get into get into a final product because many of the times the if if you without, without testing without testing its viability without testing its usefulness without testing its what is the value adding or what you call the or the uh, um, or entity you can know if you produce a bigger or, or the, the the big version of that your idea the fire product if it is not accepted it doesn't fit into the market if it doesn't fit into the market then you may burn your hands you may burn your hands so for that reason the preparation should be it should be in uh, as what you call step by preparation should be there for example here if you can see here in the this is above how you should not build is directly you have got an idea and then you have test, you have prepared the all the modules and then you directly went to the, all the with the plan you directly went to the final product and here if the demand is not there you are going to fail so here yeah, so you need to have a systemic what to go step by step process so mvp preparation preparing the minimum viable product will help you to minimize the risk as well as it will protect you from Uh, the burning your hands at the same time it can give you a better version of the product file product so here here for example if you take this example here so it, here only a farm uh, land this layout has been made here okay that is build a simple version of your product as cheaply as possible the product should be cheaper and it should be easier to create for you Okay, and it should be simple before going for the final version. Then you you get, get you you offer it to the a particular segment of the people, and then get the feedback. And based on that feedback, whatever you receive, you improvise on that your plan, your product, your service. So here the improvisation has been made, a swimming pool has been created here. So that once you attract a lot of more of the people, okay, you will have much more feedback, much more what we call the. Uh, opinions and then based on those feedback again you can uh, observing the, the visitors so what to call the behavior and the uh, the feedback you can adjust your offering as well as the the product to accommodate the needs or the demand of the market so for that reason when you want to go for this preparation preparation should be step wise as the, as as i have explained so here you need to conduct you need to conduct the thorough market research to understand your audience's pain points and preferences and based on that you can tailor your minimum viable product so that you can meet their specific needs and in that by that you can increase the positive reception of your product final product so for that reason the mep preparation is a must then coming to the fifth one how you can craft so crafting your mep is again as i told there is a core protocol idea is there but it is in a in a stage where it is not acceptable or not useful or not easily usable and you want to create a, from that point you want to create a bigger one that is more viable or maximum viable product here okay so in between whatever the intermediary you are preparing here which is good enough product to attract the first users so the your product should have the basic quality that is minimum viable product should have the basic element that at least you should have that the capacity to attract the first users so when it, it can attract the first user then only based on the the first users feedback you can work on that and you can create craft your own uh, what to call the bigger final product so when you are crafting your minimum viable product you need to focus on the essential features especially when it comes to ayurveda you should be able to focus on the essential features of the ayurveda products or the services what you can offer to the your patient or the people who need it or the market who which you are targeting the problem you are targeting that it should be able to satisfy it you should it should be able to solve it so whether it is a product line or a service line you need to abide by the core principles of the ayurveda okay so with without violating the ayurvedic principles if you can make a easily accessible <coughs> and user friendly uh, a product or the service that will be, that is the essentiality that is the best thing what you can offer in the form of your mep and the same mep can be converted into a, a file product so think simplicity with an impact 
okay as simple as it is possible but the most impactful it should be so that should be the how you should craft your mep or when you are crafting your mep you should think about now <clears throat> once you have created your mep once you offer to the what to call the the first users then you need to test it okay so is here the minimum viable product has been created it has been offered to its users then the feedback has been received and accordingly the change has been made and the product is the last end product is created or build, built so that it become more it, it will become the final product to be sent for a bigger market or the final what you call the users and okay so here when you launch with uh, this MEP in a selected group of potential customers and small target market then collect the feedback diligently and pay attention what works and what needs improvement you need to think both of them what, what is what is the strength and what is the weakness and accordingly you should work on those things that is a SWOT that is strength weakness opportunity and threat this analysis should be made and based on that analysis you should iterate that uh, all that uh, valuable feedback to refine your offering so that is how you should test your MEP. Okay. Then coming to the embracing the continuous improvement because see ultimately once the MEP is formed, it is not the end. It is it need to it need to progress in that. So when you build that particular MEP, you have you have offered to the market and you have, and then you have received the what you call the uh, feedback and your data and you analyzed all those data in and you have measured all those data and uh, it's a uh, pros and cons and then you learnt out of it and then you have create you are you are creating a better version of the same MEP. So the journey of entrepreneurship is is a, is a continuous learning process. It's a continuous learning process. So you need to keep on learning and getting from the feedback of your customers. So embrace the feedback and iterate out on your MEP and refine your product or service to get into the final product. So the iterative approach will not it, it won't not only enhance your what you call the offering it will not only enhance your uh, product quality or service quality at the same time it will make uh, it will it will foster a stronger connection with your or customers or target customers or the audience or the patients so ultimately what the summary is you whatever the hypothesis you have made whatever the idea you have made you need to prioritize on that and you should build it into a minimum viable product and then it should be offered to the the first users get the feedback from that and you measure all those data and then learn out of it and then come for the most what you call the refined version of your product so that the risk of burning your hands or exhausting your resources will be reduced so minimum viable product is not just about version 1.0 it is an approach that should carry forth into every product development okay so it is an approach for everything you can if you try if you test with a minimum viable product then if you go for the uh, uh, the what a final product or the final uh, project you will, will be at a minimal risk you'll be at a minimal risk so do the market research then analyze the competitors then define your product define the design process and the user journey then list the improvement in the MEP, whatever has you got from that uh, the users, and then develop your MEP in a better way, and then you build and measure and learn, and accordingly you can prepare your own final product. So after what you call uh, this uh, building the minimum viable product, that is the entrepreneur business, what you call the entrepreneur sense blueprint, uh, and entrepreneur device goal setting formula. Based on that, I created entrepreneur business model, uh, the what you call the final product of. Uh, my coaching that is online coaching for career guidance of all the Ayurveda professionals to think in a different way and make use of their Ayurveda knowledge to build their own entrepreneurial ecosystem so that they can accomplish the social significance, professional significance, financial abundance and time freedom. So it will help you to when you when you refine okay when you refine and when you have a, a better what you call the uh, MEP okay that will keep you connected with your audience and uh, it will help you to ins get the what you call the uh, inspired ayurveda venture fl uh, flourishment okay so maximum the minimum viable product is the starting point it is just a starting point it's not about perfection but it is progress so you need to 
the minimum one one thing you should need to understand is minimum viable product will help you to understand your target customers your target market uh, and your product or service in a more better way and by that you can you can refine it and you can make it more irreplaceable product or service in the market so that you can have a competitive advantage over your competitors and the continuous journey the entrepreneurial journey it will you will it will take you to establish your own entrepreneurial ecosystem what i always prom- uh, means pro uh promote or always i ask all the ayurveda professionals to think about so that's all in this video and if you feel that it, this video has given you a lot of value kindly subscribe for the, my channel if you are if you are watching it the first time and if you are already subscriber kindly share it with your friends like it and comment and share your opinions what do you think about the mep and if you are already with your own the mep or starting with your mep you kindly post the, that that uh, in what at what stage you are in the mep means creation or crafting of the mep and uh, any queries any things uh, related to mep you can post in the comments so that i can answer those questions so if you are not subscribe for our youtube, YouTube channel kindly subscribe it and at the same time if you want to become a successful entrepreneur okay which i call all the other doctors should be nair premier that is entrepreneur in ayurveda kindly join ayurveda lifestyle hub a community meant for creating a vibrant entrepreneurs from the ayurveda a community of vibrant entrepreneurs of ayurveda by visiting our www.ayurvedalifestylehub website there at a very discounted price the memberships are available so bronze membership and silver membership are live so you can go ahead and you can get into that okay the so so that a community of the same like minded people can build a bigger what to call the ayurveda universe of entrepreneurs so watching thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video